What's up you guys? It's Natalie. It is Monday. Monday morning, mid-morning. Cella's behind me. We're pulling these vans, these buses, these shuttle buses. Uh, we're pulling them over to uh, San Jose. We're about a uh, hundred miles away. And then I've booked a, a Sprinter van out of Mannheim and Hayward and uh, a truck out of a business also in Hayward going south with us. So uh, it's Monday, you know, we'll be uh, in my, on my side of town in Southern California tomorrow and uh, making decent money so far, so far so good. Uh, I wanna go back to SoCal to drop off this black truck, uh, the airbags. Uh, I ordered new airbags for the truck, so it has to go to the mechanic to get those installed and uh, a couple other little 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 stuff but uh, it's a good opportunity to kind of route myself down that way drop off the iron bull drop off the uh, black truck and then Chella and I are probably gonna finish up this week with some kind of short run something out of town I'm not sure maybe Arizona I don't know we'll show you the unloads pretty soon
All right, we loaded our second piece going to Southern California, which is the truck. This delivery and this delivery are probably within 15 miles of each other. Now we're heading to Mannheim, here also in Hayward. I like to make my circles real tight, real nice and tight. We're heading to uh, Hayward. We dropped the two buses in San Jose, drove 26 miles, like north, to uh, here to Hayward to load up the uh, F-250 there on the trailer. And now we're going to Mannheim in Hayward, which should not be too far, a few miles. And we're gonna pick up a Sprinter van Put it on my trailer. Okay, so that's my van. Mannheim has a really cool locator these days. I love it. I haven't been to Mannheim in a long time. Love it! And you can print the gate pass right at the security shack. So this is the van. It's cooling down so I can have air. This is blocking the van. And there was a van, that van, that I just moved behind my van. So, I went to start this little electric car and it's dead. So, what do we do? If you can't move the one in front of yours, move the one behind yours. So you don't have to call somebody and ask them for help. All right. Now let's move our van. Mm-hmm. We're moving, we're moving. Here we go. Just kidding. All right, let's park ours here because I'm a nice person. I'm gonna park mine, jump back in the other one. Let's go move that one back in its spot. Because I'm a nice person, that's what people should do. Not hide other vehicles in other places at the damn auction. So now we move this one. Natalie, why are you spending so much time on this bullshit? because it's the right thing to do, that's why. And because when I come to the auction, I wanna find my vehicle and get in and out. So I have to live by the golden rule, right? Which is, what is it? We treat everything and everybody the way we would want our things and ourselves treated. Look at how easy that was, you guys. It didn't take me but a second. Not even a big deal. All right, let's get in this one. understand why you like these uh, sprinter vans, Norman. I could dig it. You can sure get in and out of places any place you want with a van like this. Can't do that with my truck and trailer. Exit, there we go. There 
there it is. There's the exit. Easy, easy money, easy money. Roll my window down. Got my ID. In and out, in and out, 10 minutes. I parked in a decent place. That's my trailer. Yes, that's hay on. <laughs> yes, that's hay on my trailer. <laughs> my my awesome uh, people in Washington, my farm friends in Washington, gave me hay. I'm so grateful. My horses are gonna be so grateful. Yes. So yes, I am hauling some hay right now. <laughs> it is personal use hay. <laughs> Thank you. Those of you, hopefully, who are watching, my Washington farm, farm friends, uh, my horses and my goat are very grateful for the hay. All right, so we got the van. I got keys. I have everything I need. Let's load this puppy up. Washington area on Friday. Uh, we got to uh, do our reset in Washington, hang out with some uh, some awesome people, a couple different families, really nice. I got to uh, play on the farm with my farm friends, and I got some free hay. Uh, hey, hey, hey. I got some hay for the horses. Uh, nobody knows how to merge. Uh, get behind me, genius. There you go. Sorry. And we are now, probably each of us are about 100 miles from our first, from her first drop and my only drop. Uh, we have that plant because, um, and I kind of wanted to get out of the Bay Area quickly because it is only Tuesday. And I do have time 
for the rest of the week to do a short out of town run, which was what I was thinking I would do. And uh, Load God smiled upon me. They said, yes, Natalie, your plan is good. Your plan is right. Let's make it happen. So I got a phone call. Hey, uh, Natalie, are you in California? What's up, Frank? <laughs> I got a bunch of loads. Can you help me out? What are you doing? Yeah, I'm in California. I can be in California. What do you got? Uh, I got some of these, uh, you know, these multi-stop loads. You know, you know the ones you do. I got one going to Arizona. You think you can help me? <laughs> of course I can. It's a crazy load. Okay, you guys, I'm not going to lie. It's like Kingman, Prescott, Cottonwood, something else something else, something else, and then the last drop is in Phoenix, so it's not like, you know, super smooth, but it's pretty light, it's 12,000 pounds, a bunch of stops, uh, so my big box stuff, uh, so we're gonna go do that, I'm glad I only loaded one Sprinter van, I'm gonna drop it off on the way to this other pickup for all the, for the multi-stop, uh, load that I have. So I'm going to get to unload and reload very quickly. It's only 1030 on Tuesday morning. I'm looking forward to doing this last Arizona run, getting back and having the weekend off. Uh, Natalie needs a little bit of a break. I have been running and running and running for months solid to, uh, to work on training these girls. Um, I've trained with Connie for like six weeks, uh, six weeks with like a week break in between that. So a lot of long miles, a lot of long trips in order to uh, get Connie and Chella uh, trained up the way I would like them trained up. Uh, so I need a little bit of a break. So uh, you guys are going to tag along with me. Like I said, I'm about 80 miles from my uh, Mercedes Benz van, Sprinter van drop off. And uh, we're going to drop that puppy off, drive about 40 or so miles, maybe 40 miles pick up my multi-stop crazy Arizona load and go home for the night. Take a little bit of a break, take my daughter out to dinner and uh, see my puppies, see my babies, my baby's babies and plan for Arizona tomorrow. Good thing I was driving the black truck that has a flatbed on it because I hadn't yet made it home to drop off the hay on the trailer before I reloaded the trailer with a full truckload of freight. So I actually pulled the hay off the trailer and put it on the flatbed so that the shipper could load up my trailer and my hay was out of their way.
guys are funny. Loaded, loaded. Whew, loaded. I even moved my hay. <laughs> Turns out I didn't have to, but that's all right. I would rather inconvenience myself for my private stuff that's not business related rather than inconvenience the customer. So we're out of here. Let's go home.